Welcome to Sounds of Brass. Welcome to Sounds of Brass with Chris Johnston. Sounds of Brass is sponsored by Stratus Brass, cushion the blow with Stratus Encore Pro and achieve new heights in your playing. Visit stratusbrass.com. Now over to Chris for another great brass band show. Hello and welcome to Sounds of Brass with me, Chris Johnston. And today I'm featuring the Black Dyke Band, showcasing the work of Peter Graham, one of the leading brass band composers of his generation. We kick off with Triquitra, and it takes the form of a free fantasia on the familiar hymn Old Hundredth. This was written for Stephen Cobb in recognition of 30 years outstanding service as conductor of the International Staff Band of the Salvation Army. Fantasia on Hold 100th. <laughs>
terrific stuff. What an opener to today's show. Fantasia on Old Hundredth. Wonderful stuff. That really enjoyed it. Well, next up, we have Master of Suspense. And it references Alfred Hitchcock's iconic movies. And features winner of the 2008 Brass Herald International Personality of the Year. Trumpeter and flugelhorn player Rex Richardson and he has made hundreds of solo appearances at prestigious festivals and with renowned ensembles on six continents. And it's in three movements. The first movement is Heat Wave, second movement is Marley, and the third movement is 20th Century Limited. <laughs> Thank you. 
terrific stuff. Master of Suspense, performed by Rex Richardson. Brilliant performance, and of course, brilliant accompanying and playing by the Black Dyke Band, as always. So, let's just take a breath, and I'll just hand you over to Annie, and I'll be back with you in a minute. Hi, this is Annie Dehaney Stephen from Bethnal Green in London. My show, well, it tends to be a mixture of memories and stuff I find lying about on the web and on my virtual CD shelf. But if I hear a piece I like played by other than a brass band, I will search for a brass version. I play what I like, what interests me, and what I think might interest a, a listener like me, someone with broad musical tastes, including but not restricted to brass band music. I play in bands, but I sing jazz, and there are few genres of music that I don't enjoy. So I place brass band classics and test pieces next to cheesy pop, jazz and funk, and I always include a couple of cooldown numbers. I hope that listeners will find something they like in each show. My show airs on Fridays at 7.30pm UK time, with another chance to hear it on Tuesdays at 730 It would be lovely to have you there. Yes, and if you miss any of Annie's live shows, they're recorded and put up on our website as always, under Listen Again. And there's a new tab there, which is Videos. And uh, we put up there the latest videos of the shows. So, uh, the latest ones. And, of course, all of them are now being placed on YouTube. And you can find us on YouTube as well. There's a link on our website. And uh, you can subscribe and never miss a show. How about that? Well, back to the wonderful Black Dyke Band. And this uh, terrific bit of music on their new CD. Next is Him for Bram, and it serves as homage to Bramwell Tovey, the internationally renowned Grammy-winning orchestral conductor. The hymn is the central section from his large-scale work Metropolis 1927, commissioned by Bram in 2014 for the National Youth Brass Band of Great Britain during his tenure as the band's musical director. So here is Him for Bram. <laughs> Thank you. 
and you're listening to Sounds of Brass, presented by Chris Johnston. Sounds of Brass is sponsored by Marcus Reynolds, the embouchure man. He provides a high-quality practice device for all brass instrument players, helping you to develop tone, power and range. To find out more, visit his website, stratusbrass.com. Now, back to the music. Next, we have Hyperlink, and it was commissioned by the National Youth Brass Band of Great Britain, funded by the Arts Council England and the Department for Education for its 70th anniversary year. Since the anniversary coincided with other significant celebrations in 2022, including the Royal Albert Hall stroke Ralph Vaughan Williams 150th and the Platinum Jubilee of Elizabeth II, it was requested that these also be recognised in some way. Well, it's in three movements. It's the Voice of Jupiter, followed by Remember Me, and the final movement, Vivat. Here is Hyperlink. Thank 
Thank you. 
That's a wow from me. That was Hyperlink. Absolutely stunning. What a wonderful piece and fantastically played by the wonderful Black Dyke Band. Well, let's take a breath again, shall we? Here's Jamie. I'll be back with you shortly. Hello there, I'm Jamie McVicker, coming to you from Norfolk, Virginia in the United States. I've been playing euphonium since I was eight years old, and I'm a lifelong lover of brass music. I'm really excited to be part of the team here at Sounds of Brass, so why not tune in and join me on Mondays or Fridays at 5.30pm UK time, when I can share with you some of my favourite brass band music. Hope to see you there, and have a great rest of your day. And, of course, as always, if you can't catch Jamie's shows live, you could catch up on them on our website because they're all recorded as they're been on air and there for you to listen to your heart's content and several ways to do that. And there's a new way we're doing it. The latest show from each of our presenters is also put onto YouTube. So and we've got a YouTube link and a page on our website, which is... Uh, latest shows in video so you can and you can subscribe to us on youtube as well that would be brilliant if you could well let's go back shall we to the next item for you this is force of nature and it features david childs on euphonium who embodies hemingway's force of nature character in every way a blazing flamenco fueled matador opens it, recalling the fevered Pamplona bull runs described in his novel The Sun Also Rises. In the second movement, in contrast, Wayfarer is an allegedic recall of the author's sense of adventure, instilled by his father in his early Idaho life. And then the third movement, Pillar, the boat that partly inspired his last great novella, The Old Man and the Sea is a rousing voyage of excitement as it crashes through the waves in search of an elusive catch of marlin. The author, happiest at the helm, revelling in the danger he himself pushes to the limit. Here is Black Dyke Band with David Charles on Euphonium with Force of Nature. <laughs> Thank you.
stuff, eh? Terrific stuff. The brilliant euphonium playing of David Charles with the Black Dyke Band with Peter Graham's Force of Nature. Well, sadly, we come into the last item of today's show, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, the music of Peter Graham performed by Black Dyke uh, with the two guest soloists. Absolutely brilliant. I loved every minute of it. I hope you did too. Um, well, it's sad that uh, we've come to the end of the show and uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And, uh, of course, follow us on Facebook, social media, uh, YouTube and, of course, on our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk. Well, I think I can just wish you a happy new year at this time of year and uh, and hopefully we all have a nice 2021. So... The Black Dyke Band are going to play us out now with The Triumph of Time. It was commissioned by Professor Nicholas Charles for the Black Dyke Band and was performed by them at the 37th European Brass Band Championships held in Perth Concert Hall in Scotland. Well, here is The Triumph of Time and uh, 
and it's time for me to go. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.
Thank you for listening to Sounds of Brass, the online radio station for brass bands. Please show your support by making a donation to Sounds of Brass on our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk. Thank you.